Hello viewers, welcome back to Back Maths. and today's lesson we'll be looking at how to find the inverse of a matrix using Gauss Jordan elimination. And so if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe for more updates. Let's get started. And so we start with this matrix and to find the inverse of this matrix using Gauss Jordan elimination, we first have to augment this matrix with the identity matrix. And after applying series of elementary row operations, we are going to get the identity matrix and the inverse of the matrix E. So we are saying that we are going to augment the matrix E with the identity matrix. And by applying elementary row operations, we are going to get the identity matrix on the left hand side being augmented with the inverse of the matrix on the right hand side. And so since the matrix E is a 3 by 3 matrix, it means that our identity matrix should also be a 3 by 3 matrix. And this is of the form 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And having known this, then by quick substitution, as we see at this point, we do it. And so we have the matrix E as minus 1. 0, minus 2, 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 1. Being augmented with the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So basically, we are interested in bringing the identity matrix to this side whilst we are going to get a different matrix on the right hand side that different matrix on the right hand side we get here now becomes the inverse of the matrix so with this idea by applying row operations we are saying that the first non-zero entry in row one should be one and not negative one as we see in the identity matrix so we are just going to change the matrix e to the identity matrix and with that this minus one here should be one so what must we do so that this minus one goes to one? And we are saying that since that row happens to be in row one, then we are saying row one should be equal to the negative of row one itself. And so we take the negative of row one, it's going to help us to get this minus one to one. And so we continue by writing our new matrix as so minus one times minus 1 gives us 1 and at this point we have 0 we have 2 here it follows to minus 1 0 0 and we can see that the effect not happen in row 2 and row 3 we can maintain the same values and at this point we have 2 1 4 0 1 0 1 2 1 0 0 1 now the next step is for us to change the 2 in row 2 to 0 by considering the pivot in row 1. And so since the effect is going to happen in row 2, let's write here as row 2 is equal to. Now how do you do that? You can do that by doing this simple illustration here. Remember we are working with row 1 and row 2. And the first entry in row 1 here is 1. The next entry in row 2 is 2. Now we simply ask ourselves what must we do so that these two elements when added goes to zero. Basically, if you multiply this side by minus two and we add, we are going to get zero. So which means that minus two plus two should give us zero. And that becomes the formula. So we have minus two row one plus row two. So we can write here as minus two. Let's take it back. So you can write here as minus two row one plus row two. That becomes our formula and we can continue for the rest of the elements in the matrix and row one we have zero now this zero is being multiplied by minus two and row two we have one and so when we add we are going to get zero plus one that's going to give us one we continue with the next element in row one that is two and so we have here as two remember this two is being multiplied by minus two and row two we have four and so when we add that is minus 4 plus 4 
giving us zero. We continue for row one, that is minus one, and row two have zero. So we have two plus zero, basically two. Now in row one, the next element is zero. Now zero multiplies minus two. And in row two, we have one. So when added, we have zero plus one, that is one. We continue, and in row one, we have zero multiplied by minus two. And row two, you have zero, and at the end, we are getting zero plus zero, that is zero. And so this becomes the new element for row two. And so we can write our new matrix as now, since the effect not happen in row one, we maintain the same values for row one. So we have one, zero, two, and negative one, zero, zero. Now, new elements for row two now becomes zero. 1, 0, and we have 2, 1, 0. Since the same effect not happening in row 3, we maintain the same values for row 3, and we have 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, we continue, but first, let's erase what we have here. Now, the next idea is the fact that we want to change the one in row three to zero. And we can do that by considering the pivot in row one. So we want to change this one to zero by considering the pivot in row one. And since that effect is going to happen in row three, let's simply write here as row three is equal to. Now, how do we get the formula? We can get it by also continuing with our simple illustration. And we have here as row one and row three. So in row 1, we have 1. In row 3, we have 1. So what must we do so that these two elements goes to 0? Basically, if we subtract from row 1 and we add to row 3, we are going to get 0. So simply, minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. And our formula now becomes minus row 1 plus row 3. So minus row 1 plus row 3. And so the next element in row 1 is 0. Minus. And then in row 3, we have 2. And so... Minus 0 plus 2 basically gives us 2. And the next element in row 1 is 2. We are subtracting, so we bring it. And in row 3 is 1. And so minus 2 plus 1 gives us minus 1. Now in row 1, the next element is minus 1 already. But there is an existing minus here, so we bring it. And in row 3, we have 0. And so at the end, we are going to get 1 plus 0. That's going to give us 1. Now, in row 1, we have 0. And in row 2, we have 0. And at the end, we are getting 0. In row 3, sorry, in row 1, we have 0. And in row 3, we have 1. And so when we add, we are going to get 1. So this becomes the new element for row 3. And so we can write our new matrix as... And we can see that the effect not happen in root 1 and 2. So we maintain the same values. That becomes 1, 0, 2. So we can write it well as 0, 2. And we have minus 1, 0, 0. And in row 2 now we have 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0. In row 3 now, we have 0, 2, minus 1, 1, 0, 1. Now, having gotten this, our next step is to change this to, to 0 by considering the pivot in row 2. In the same way, we would have changed this 0 to a 0 if it was not a 0. So simply, if this place happens to be a different number, we'd have changed to zero. But this place, in this case, it is zero already, so we leave it. So our focus now comes on the two in row three. So basically, we have to change this two to zero by considering the pivot in row two. And so we can do that by considering our normal illustration and... And with this one, we are saying that since the effect is going to happen in row 
in row 3 then let's write here row 3 is equal to how do we get the formula so we can continue with our simple illustration and in row 2 we are considering row 2 and row 3 but then we know that the first entry in row 2 is 0 and the first entry in row 3 is 0 but that may not be our focus our focus is on the next entry in row 2 that is 1 and the next entry in row 3 that is 2 so we ask ourselves what must we do so that these two elements when added goes to 0 so basically if we multiply row 2 by negative 2 and we add to row 3 then we are going to get 0 so minus 2 plus 2 gives us 0 and so our formula now becomes minus 2 row 2 plus row 3 so let's write here minus 2 row 2 plus row 3 now this continues for the rest of the element and in row 2 we have 0 now if 0 multiplies minus 2 we are going to get 0 and the next element in row 3 is minus 1 so at the end we are getting minus 1 now the formula is also applicable to the first element in row 2 and row 3 so basically even if you multiply this side by minus 2 and we add to 0 we're also going to get 0 so that is not focus like we said earlier but we continue for the rest of the elements and we have in row 2 we have 2 so 2 now 2 multiplies minus 2 and being added to row 3 that is 1 and at the end we are getting minus 4 plus 1 that's going to give us minus 3 now we continue for the next element in row 2 and we have 1 here so 1 multiplies minus 2 being added to 0 and at the end we are getting minus 2 plus 0 that is minus 2 now we continue in row 2 we have 0 and 0 multiplies minus 2 is 0 and the next element here is and row 3 we have 1 and so when added we are going to have 0 plus 1 that's going to give us 1 and so this becomes a new element for row 3 and so we can write our new matrix as so our new matrix now becomes so since the effect not happen in row 1 and row 2 we have 1 0 2 and we have minus 1 0 0 and in row 2 now we have 0 1 0 2 1 0 and we have 0 0 minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 1 so now our next idea is the fact that we want to change this minus 1 to 1 and so since the effect is going to happen in row 3 then we can see row 3 is equal to minus row 3 and with that and now our new matrix now becomes so the effect is not going to happen in row 1 and row 2 so basically we maintain the same values for them and we have 1 0 2 and we have here as minus 1 0 0 and we have 0 1 0 2 1 0 and we will try now we have 0 0 1 3 2 minus 1 now having gotten this now we want to change this 2 to 0 by considering the pivot in row 3 and since that is going to happen in row 1 then we can write here as row 1 is equal to now do you get the formula we can continue with our normal illustration or simple illustration and since we are considering row 3 and row 1 then the first element in row 3 though is 0 
and row 1, 2 is 1. In row 3, we have 0, and in row 1 is 0. In row 3, we have 1, and in row 1, we have 2. Now, we are going to look at how we can get the formula from the third element in these rows. And we are going to apply the formula to the rest of the rows in the the matrix. So at this point, we are just going to multiply here by minus 2. And this minus 2 times 1 plus 2 is going to give us 0. And so at the end, we have minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. It means that our formula now becomes minus 2 row 3 plus row 1. So we can see. So we can even extend it. So we can say row 1 is equal to. We can say row 1 is equal to minus 2 row 3 plus row 1. And this becomes the formula that we'll be working with. Now let's see how the formula is applicable to the rest of the element. So the first element in row 3 is 0. So being multiplied by minus 2 and added to row 1, we are going to get 0 plus 1. That's going to give us 1. And even if you multiply this side by minus 2 and we add to 0, then at the end we are going to get 0. So we continue for the rest of the element. And in row 3, we have we have 3. Now 3 multiplies minus 2. And in row 1, we have minus 1. And so when added, we have minus 6, minus 1. That's going to give us minus 7. Now we continue for the element in row 3. In row 3, we have 2. And multiply this side by minus 2. And in row 1, we have 0. So at the end, we are getting minus 4. Now the next element here in row 3 is minus 1. So minus 1 multiplies minus 2. And in row 1, we have 0. And so at the end, we are getting 2. So that is minus 2 times minus 1, giving us 2. And so this becomes the new element for row 1. And so basically, you can write our new matrix as a matrix of the form. So let's take it back and we have here as so in row one now we have one zero zero and we have minus seven minus four two. Now since the effect not happen in row two and row three, maintain the same values and we have 0, 1, 0, and we have 2, 1, 0, we have 0, 0, 1, 3, 2, negative 1. And so, good. So, with this one, um, having gotten this, then basically we have come to the end of. Um, the inverse of the matrix that we were looking for. So we said that we want to operate the given matrix A such that we are going to have the identity matrix on the left hand side and the inverse of the matrix on the right hand side. So having gotten this, then we can see that by applying Gauss Jordan elimination, the inverse of the matrix A, so A inverse. Now is equal to the matrix negative seven, negative four, two, two, one, zero, three, two, minus one. So after applying Gauss Jordan, we had the inverse of the matrix to be this. And so this ends today's video. Thanks for watching. Kindly like comment subscribe and share bakumat thinking beyond infinity